Hello, I'm Amy Blaylock. Welcome to City Hall this week. The City of Durham is receiving national recognition once again for its national night out efforts. For the second consecutive year, the city earned four national rankings in the awards competition sponsored by the National Association of Town Watch. Durham was ranked 14 among 135 competing cities of comparable populations across the country. Three neighborhoods received All-Stars honors, recognizing individuals, organizations, or programs for outstanding participation, leadership, and assistance during the National Night Out campaign. Did you get a new electronic device, appliance, or furniture for the holidays? Bring your old stuff to the City of Durham Swap Shop. Located inside the Waste Disposal and Recycling Center at 2115 East Club Boulevard, all items in the Swap Shop are free to Durham residents on a first-come, first-served basis. The rules are simple. Visitors must check in with a skill operator. All items must work. Furniture must not be sold, torn, or broken. And you don't have to bring something to take something. For more information, visit the Solid Waste Department's homepage on the city's website. If you're looking for a fun, fit way to enter the new year, you'll want to know all about Fun Fitness Week. The week is being sponsored by Durham Parks and Recreation and will be held from January 6th through the 12th at recreation centers throughout the city. There will be activities for children, teens, and adults of all ages, those who like to get their feet wet and those who prefer to stay on dry ground. Between Zumba classes, lunch and learn sessions, and exercise opportunities for all interests, there's no reason not to get started on meeting your health goals for 2013. Paying tribute to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is an annual tradition for Durham. Find out how the city is expanding your opportunities to remember his life and legacy when City Hall this week continues. When you open a book, a whole new world comes to life. <laughs> and you just never know who we are going to meet. Ah, humbug. Read a book <laughs> and experience the wonder. <laughs> Discover the fun and become part of something magical. What's happening? To read a Christmas Carol and other books online, go to read.gov. Explore new worlds. Read. Welcome back. The city is taking a different approach to one of the ways it will pay tribute to the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. this year. An event honoring Dr. King through art will be held on Saturday, January 12th from 2 until 4 p.m. at the W.D. Hill Recreation Center. Activities will include visual art displays, community discussions, arts and crafts projects, food, and much more. For more information about this free event, call 919-560-4292. And finally, as you're taking down your Christmas decorations, please know that it's perfectly fine to just leave your tree at the curb. That's right, Durham will be helping you dispose of your Christmas tree from now through Friday, March 1st. Trees should be placed at the curb by 7 a.m. on your normal garbage collection day, and they'll be picked up within one week. Trees taller than six feet should be cut in half and all decorations removed. For more information about tree pickup, contact Durham One Call at 919-560-1200. That does it for City Hall this week. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And of course, you can find us on demand on DTV8's webpage and on YouTube. I'm Amy Blaylock. Thank you for joining us.